Good night, Rob here, Jack of all trades, master of none, Trev2323, and I'm showing you the difference between my older Zomotos, and I'm switching one of them out to a Zosi. The Zosis were actually $21 from Amazon.com. They say a thousand TVLs. Uh, this is where I got my cameras in front right now. You see the infrared is on in that bottom one, and it picks up very good. The bottom one is the one that's crystal clear. I'll show you on the camera, and this top one is kind of blurry right now. Now the infrareds are on, you see, but they don't appear to be as bright. Well, yeah, they are as bright, but this picture right here isn't as clear. As you can see, I have everything taped together that's coming out the wall right there. So I do got to cut this open, and then I'm going to put my uh, Zosi right here. So after I get this cut off, I'm going to show you what the screen looks like before, and then we'll take a look at what it looks like after, all right? Um, uh, well... This right here, let me show you, I'm gonna use just these three screws and take them off. And then put the new camera on, splice all these, and replace these wires with new wires. So that's pretty much self-explaining, sorry. I'm gonna do that right now. Look at this right here. This is what I'm trying to change. I don't know if you could tell the very blurriness in the pictures. This one's crystal clear, and this one is very blurry. So what I'm going to do is change out this camera right now, channel 2. I want to change that one out. From what I understand is when it goes from the daytime to the nighttime, the circuit on the inside of the camera isn't switching it. So that's why it's looking very blurry. This one's terrible. But as soon as it switches from kind of half day to nighttime all the way, it's crystal clear. Like that one. Alright, so these are my Z-Modos and I'm going to put a... a Zosi, see, see a car, but you could barely see it. All right, the Zosis, you know, the Z Motos, right where my thumb is, right here. There's a butterfly to move the camera up and down. Well, these Zosis have a more bigger mount right there, and this right here, after you screw it on, this is what you tighten up to get the mount from mo to, to stop the mount from moving. So I'm gonna actually have. To, I was gonna try to just screw the top of this camera into the other base, but this one. Is a lot bigger right here so I'm gonna screw those three screws in right here and wipe the camera off then I'll put it up okay here's the Zosi camera you see the other one went infrared this when it when it goes from to infrared it actually is clear again but it's the in-between time so you see this one right this is the Zosi see how clear it is that still has some color in it, and it's just going to infrared right now. You see the colors blinking, but it's remaining clear as the infrared is going on. You see some spots are still blinking with color, while the others are going from infrared. Here's the crazy thing. I'm going to go ahead and turn the porch light on and look what happened. Now this is crazy. You can't really tell from the picture, but that is bright color, like full spectrum color right there black and white color just by me turning the porch light on and the aperture of the camera being different me aperture like I know what the hell I'm talking about just because the porch light is on and the infrared is on now when I shut the porch light off it's gonna click back to black and white like this okay now I switch the porch light off and if you see it blinking a little bit it's blinking because it's go turning from uh, uh, daytime to black and white but the black and white is still really 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 like okay that's black and white right there and that's black and white from a far distance it's still a clear picture i read online this is a zosi somebody told me that zosis are only 800 tvls not a thousand tvls and they're a specialist or whatever and uh, that's the zmodo that's the zosi for home security either one are great i mean the zosi it does seem clearer to me and the angle is a lot wider my z moto used to probably get from the front of this bumper to the back of this bumper but this right here is a lot wider angle so i i do say that yeah you can kind of tell the difference in angles from the zosi to the z moto and that one i have one on my front porch one for the whole house one the back porch one the backyard either way that's my review on the Zosi. All I'm doing is I'm not changing the wiring, just the cameras. But what's going out is what switches it from regular to night vision. 
in between the middle part, the middle video, it's nothing but snow. And people are like, well, if you reboot this, if you reboot that, for $21 on Amazon, I got a motion camera and it's working. And guess what? My other motion camera would not, see that's going on right now, would not go on with the trees across the street. This motion camera is actually going on with the trees across the street. So it is getting further motion. All right, either way, uh, I'm gonna go stand out front and see if I can get my wife to record this video while I'm out front so you can see what they look like. All right, so I'm doing these videos uh, to help everybody, give everybody an insight for what they might be looking for in the cameras. Uh, these OC cameras, I'm going to see if they're built to last. Like the Z-Motos lasted me about a year and a half. They're outdoor cameras. They're running 24-7. They're infrared. I live in Chicago in the Chicago winter. For the price I paid for them, you can't argue that they lasted a year and a half. At nighttime, you can see clear as day. At daytime, you can see clear as day. But they're starting to go out when they're switching from night to daytime vision. Okay, so that's why instead of trying to run new line or whatever, for $21, I bought the Zosi camera. It was clear and it had a wider angle. Well, I love that wider angle, believe me. So, you know, $21, I'm going to go ahead and switch out all the cameras. Not only that, you're going to have spare cameras to the side. It's an 8-channel DVR. I could actually run the cameras on the inside of my house if I wanted to, but really there's no need to. So I'm just going to keep them as a spare one and switch out to the Zosi. Especially, you know, coming up the stairs, the back stairs or whatever, you're going to have a wider angle and they are a lot clearer. Well, that's my review on them, but like I said, I know the Z-Motos are built to last. They lasted about a year and a half. They still do fine. It's just the switching between day and nighttime. So uh, that's my review. Those are the pictures I showed you. So hopefully you like it. Subscribe to the video. I do all kind of videos. Jack of all trades, master of none. Please subscribe, share, and like. That's the best you could do for me. Thank you. Bye-bye.